Welcome back. Are you looking to draw eyes to your yard this year? Charlie and Sharon know just the thing. They show us how to arrange color contrast on this week's In the Garden. Charlie, I'm learning a lot from this garden because of the different colors and the contrast and the textures and everything. It's really nice. Looking. It is. It yeah. is a really nice example of what you can do with contrasting colors, whether it be the flowers or the foliage or a little bit of both. Right. And so you start with Nemesia, which is this beautiful little purple flower that's kind of snaking through here. Uh -huh. But to really pop out that color, that uh, burgundy purple pinkish color, we have yellow sweet potato vine and yellow coleus behind it which is kind of a nice thing. And then to yeah. pop out those colors more, we have this polka dot plant that's right here with its nice pink uh, splashes of color. And then as you go up, you can even see that it continues to work that way with the uh, nice black snake root behind us with that really deep burgundy foliage and then the willow tree with the silver foliage. Right. So the idea with this is that using bright colored leaves and bright colored flowers, um, contrasting with the other kinds of colors, really kind of brings them out, really pops it out really nicely. And in a really a full sun garden this works really nicely mm -hmm. so there's also examples of it that'll happen when you have a kind of similar colors so over here we have impatience in full sun yes yeah some that's a different kind though. can grow yeah. into full sun exactly um, but you also have that small little flower which by the way is a dahlia no way I know it's a you know, dahlias you think of big flowers right yeah. this is a small little variety really cute little variety it's a, that's about quarter sized flowers exactly yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so the pink the big splash of color from the pink impatience contrasts nicely with the kind of the red subtleness of those sure. little dahlias and it doesn't stop in full sun you can get the similar effect if you go into full shade too that and, looks really nice and underneath there. this dawn yeah. redwood tree we see of course hostas because of course hostas grow really well there but as you move along you see the white flowers in the bottom those are terrinias or clown flowers uh -huh. they really are bright and they're really jumping out because that white jumps out really nicely in a shady area especially when it's contrasting next to the the burgundy foliage of those coral bells right behind it okay and then to bring it out even more you have the really light yellow colored hosta that's called stained glass that one is just really gorgeous and it has really light colored leaves so you're adding light into this deep shade area you're adding contrast into that deep shade area with the the foliage colors and you put a little flower color in there with the clown flowers too kind of adds to that whole thing and makes it a lot more interesting oh it does 